Welcome to Wellesley College Television's Boob Tube. I'm Anjali Sundaram. And I'm Rachel Pack, filling in for Tavia Smith. Makeshift banners have appeared around campus with dripping red messages, advertising everything from lost backpacks to worthy causes. Realizing just how much attention these are getting, the administration has decided to replace all campus-wide emails with announcements scrawled in blood, chamber secret style. Coco Beat, a vegan restaurant specializing in juice cleanses, has opened a new location in the Ville. No comment as of yet from potential competition like Be Good and the Pure Station at Lulu. Last Friday, the delightful Professor French gave a talk about his work on the recently completed Cassini mission. The goal of the mission was to collect data on the sixth planet from the sun, but it's that turned out to steal the hearts of the American public as well. And now, please enjoy a short film from our field correspondent, David Attenborough. Here we see the rare wild first year in its natural habitat. What an exciting opportunity to observe its behavior. The first year uses their plumage to indicate their status on the social ladder. Now that she has left the nest, the first year is quickly learning that the world is very different than she anticipated. Yeah, I heard there's a decent amount of lesbians on this campus. Yeah, I heard there might even be one in our year. We now observe the first year indulging in her two favorite hobbies, tea and crafting. We should start a crafting club. That's such a good idea. I know. <laughs> Despite this common call amongst first years, a crafting club has yet to emerge. Now we see the humble first year in class. Watch as she disagrees with a senior who is majoring in this subject. And so that is why I'm writing my thesis on Foucault's Panopticon. Um, actually in my high school we spent like half a class period talking about this, so as an expert um, I think Foucault uh, was actually writing an allegory uh, for homosexual hegemons. Here we see the first year attempting her first courtship ritual. Do you like knitting? I, um, oh, yeah. it's, um, it's getting cold, so I started making you a scarf. Oh, that's so nice. It's, I thought it would go well with your eye. Oh, that's so sweet. I should go, but thank you so much. Unfortunately, in her haste, she has failed to realize that this particular female is not an option. Join us next time as we study the thesising senior. Oh God, the first year was right. <laughs> Cash Me Outside girl Danielle Brugoli has signed a record deal with Atlantic Records and has released songs such as These Hoes, This Bitch, and What She Know. This almost makes us miss the good old days of Art Music Factory. Hugh Hefner, creator of Playboy magazine, has died at the age of 91. Donald Trump is now accepting applications for his replacement as personal mentor to the president. And now, Georgie on the street. Hey, Wellesley. So, as you can see, we are in the new and improved Bates. Um, there's a gelato bar. There's a place where they toss your salads for you. There's so many new things here. But I just have one question. Was it worth it? Let's get a taste of what some people think. I love Bates. But did you love Bates before this happened? No, I got splinters in my ass all the time. Because we were handling that all the sweet switches were like ripped apart. And so every time you sat, you'd be like, oh my, splinters. Uh, what is your favorite new and improved feature about Bates? Um, definitely the repurposing of stir fry tim to pasta tim. The regular pizza. That pizza is fucking pop. This is good. Gotta have those carbs. Um, nice. Do you think it was worth it? No. You don't need to spend $200 million for a couple of Christmas. It mm. feels like a little more fancy. I don't like that the ice cream, they have to scoop it for you. When you're the 12th person in line waiting to get like cucumbers, that's so stupid. It's just a salad. I don't judge. Yeah. I judge. What do you think Wellesley could have spent his money on instead? Air conditioner. 
It's so true. What else? Grand Central Station. Just Mungo. They want to do it in Mungo. Make it better. I want to live there. <laughs> so, there you have it. Um, we can all agree that Bates is really nice. That being said, uh, maybe we should reconsider what we spend our money on. Wellesley. I'm going to take this chocolate milk now. Back to the studio. Trump recently took aim at NFL players for kneeling during the national anthem as an act of protest. Days later, Donald himself was photographed kneeling during the national anthem after spotting a particularly shiny candy wrapper on the ground. Thanks for watching BoobTube. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. And don't forget, stay perky.